Hotfix number one for update 113 has finally dropped on live service today, bringing with it several important changes as well as a new contract removing the wildcard contract, and we will discuss all those details including a fix to the permanent death cheat bug, but also dropping very soon since the month is almost over, is the Myth of Moors DLC. You'll probably see this lovely beard on the Moorhound roaming the bayou very soon, and his Maw of Darkness skin for the Romero, Hell's Dewclaw for the Pax, and Snarling Dawn for the Flare Pistol, which unfortunately is just the standard color flare. If you want a little discount on this pack, you can use code HOME in the Crytek store, and that helps support the channel. Much appreciated. Back to the hotfix changes though, here's our list and we can run through it real quick, and then we will discuss the new contract. Eight of these changes are pretty significant, starting with the fix to an issue that caused the rain effect to often disappear on AMD GPU machines completely after round start, and they also fixed an issue that caused the rainfall effect to be darker with post-processing effects off. So if you have an AMD GPU and you haven't been able to see the rain, that should be fixed now, as well as anyone that had the ink black rain, that should be fixed too. Crytek also implemented a potential fix for the rare issue that caused players to spawn away from their teammates or with enemy hunters. I ran into this bug twice, and although it was funny, I understand why Crytek fixed it, although they say it's a potential fix, so you should probably keep your eye out. Into the pack trait fixes then, they fixed an issue that caused Instinct to react to already extracted hunters. If you ever got to an extract, an Instinct would glow orange, but no one was around. That is now resolved and should work like normal. And then the very sad news, cue the violins. Crytek fixed an issue that caused all burn traits to be restored after use in a mission upon a successful extract, and they fixed an issue that did not properly remove burn traits used in a mission. That means exactly what you think it means, the permanent death cheat bug is gone, rest in peace. And then to the ammo fixes, Crytek fixed an issue that caused incendiary ammo to deal less damage than intended during heavy rain. They also fixed an issue that caused the drilling base and flechette shotgun spread to be incorrect. The shotgun is now a reliable one hit kill to the chest at 12 meters before it was just kind of awful. They also fixed an issue that caused the drilling to not count towards challenges that require the use of rifles and they fixed an issue with the Bomb Lance Dragon Breath ammo not progressing the challenge of killing an Armored Hive and Hellhound with fire. And the rest of the fixes are simple UI or random bugs that are much less interesting. So let's get into the new contract then. Crytek has removed the wildcard contract and combined it with the standard one, meaning Thunder Shower and Rot Jaw are just part of the normal queue now. Also new with this contract is Rot Jaw can now be found on Fog Maps and sundown maps, as well as thunder shower and night maps as it was in the wildcard contract before. If you get matched on any of these times of day or conditions with a single boss target, Rotjaw will have a 100% chance to appear in that mission. You can only select this one option, but notably, that also means any players that want to fight Rotjaw but just want to duo queue with your buddy, that is an option now. It doesn't have to be trios enabled as well. So that about gets you caught up with the hot fixes. I don't normally cover hot fixes, but the changes in this one are pretty notable. We will see the pack traits being used as intended and hopefully with less bugs. Also, maybe the drilling is worth its price now since its spread has been fixed. Maybe, we'll see, I'm not too sure. Okay, be sure to use code HOME in the Crytek store to get your bearded man whenever that drops. And until the next video, goodbye.